All right, let's do the next one. Yeah. What is the weirdest thing you've ever said to a stranger? I don't know what the weirdest thing I've ever said, but hanging out with Sydney is just like an all you can eat to fail about some of the weirdest shit you could ever say to a person. Such as? Oh, where do I start? <laughs> Just yeah, I need to hear some examples. I mean, I I, okay, okay. I know Sydney well enough where I kind of can guess <laughs> what she would okay, say, but okay. um, sometimes she says Sydney some things said? where. So it's this just is like, this is before I guess. Oh my god! I'm, I'm like, okay, this is before Sydney moved to, uh, before we moved to Japan. Yeah, right. And uh, so we're we're in Thailand, right? And so. Um, I, th I think we were about to move to Japan and Sydney was like, oh, I'm going to practice my Japanese as much as possible as, you know, we, we kind of try and do. Mm. And so we were in this bar, right? And we were pretty wasted at uh -huh. the time. And Sydney, when she's pretty wasted, lets her intrusive thoughts just take over every sure. single time. So uh, it was kind of a loud bar. And uh, we, we were sitting at this bar and this other couple sat next to us and you know sydney just looked at them and just said ah konnichiwa <laughs> which number one <laughs> num <laughs> what, number one uh number one it's just like that's that's a big assumption yeah and and uh the couple next to us uh just replied oh sorry we're not japanese <laughs> and then sydney out of embarrassment, did not know how to react. So she dabbed. She just, <laughs> she, just the fuck? she just went like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sydney is just not a real person. Like what the fuck is that? And the couple looked at each other and then left. And what, then what, was, <laughs> what was she expecting the response to be after that? Like you just fucking dab. What, what were they gonna do? Like fucking. That is insane. <laughs> okay, I, I I I omitted a pretty important uh, piece of information. Uh, yeah. So it was it was in uh, a Izakia in like Thailand. Yeah, 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 That we were sitting next to. So there was I, I because only that, Japanese yeah. people. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. <laughs> so there was a mental reason why she said that, I guess. But <laughs> that's but, like that is such a bold shot to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then the 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 response to that emergency situation was very bold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, I guess that's become a core memory of uh, life. Yeah, of, I think of that would, life. That'd be a core yeah. memory for me yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, what's up next then? Let's see. Uh, what's up next? No. What's the weirdest thought you've ever had sitting on the toilet? Oh, where the fuck do I start? I don't know. I feel like I get most of my weird thoughts and just weird takes just sitting on the toilet all the time remember any yeah because you don't sit on the toilet for a long time at all i wouldn't remember where i had a specific thought do you yeah. remember where you have thoughts not really no, i don't remember either. do you sometimes like rarely though right do you ever note down your thoughts uh no i mean only if i think it can turn into a video yeah if i know that <laughs> it's important and that's usually as I'm kind of drifting off to sleep, because that's when all the weird ideas come to my head. I write them down in my notes. I go to sleep. I wake up the next morning, look at the notes, and go, "These are all stupid," and I just delete all. Of them. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, I've. <laughs> I was gonna say this thing like it's a like a fucking groundbreaking things, mm. uh, but since Trash Taster started, I've been I guess noting down little things that have happened during my day. Mm. Sometimes if something interesting happens mm. to, during the day, and then I realize. Oh wait, that's not a fucking groundbreaking thing. I'm just starting a diary, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like, a diary. yeah a diary. I thought, yeah. but like, since I've been doing that, I've realized how many little interesting tidbits happened in my life that I've just completely forgot about. Mm. And I realized because I've been one of those guys that I just always forget to take pictures and I want to take more pictures like going forward in the future because mm. there are so many things that, um, that I want to remember as I, I'm like go, I'm like as I'm like going forward, and I always assume, eh, someone else is going to take a picture of yeah. it. It'll be fine. But then the more the life goes on, the more I realize I don't. I'm so shit at retaining information mm. and memories. Totally. Yeah, sometimes. Me totally. Like I don't remember half of the places we went to on the America tour. You know, I, can, I don't, I don't you? remember half of last year. <laughs> right? Like legit. Right. I have either like perfect memory of a situation or no memory. 
There's no in between. Yeah. Well, well, I think that's where the whole like, you know, uh, stereotype of like boys nights versus girls nights like yeah. happens, right? Where it's like, you know, if your partner goes to a girls night, they come home and you ask them, oh, so what'd you guys talk about? And they can tell you everything and like the tiniest mm. information, like as if you were there. Boy comes back from a boys night and the girl asks like, oh, what'd you guys talk about? And the guy goes, I don't remember. All right, Jerry, last time, last time, the last night out that we missed was probably the Geeks Plus party. Okay. What are you guys talking about there? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you got all the boys at Geeks Plus, Joey. You, 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 had a, you had a night, you had a night with each other, Joey. What, 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 were, you guys, what were you guys talking about? <sighs> what are we talking about? I mean, I mean dudes, dudes will <laughs> like- Kai, do you remember? Dudes will not see- Kai, Kai, do you know? <laughs> Guy, guys will not see each other for a year. Yeah. And then when they meet up, they won't talk about what's happening in life. They'll be like, yo, did you see the new fucking Magic the Gathering? Yeah, 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 exactly. And they'll literally talk We're about that. We're so bad at telling other people what's been happening in our life. Like the, lit literally the only time I ever do that now is on Trash Taste. Yeah. Or like if I'm talking to Aki, but like well, other than that, like if I met up with like, you know, a, a guy friend from that I haven't seen in like, three, four, five years. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not gonna, I, I'll maybe, you know, just to get the conversation going, talk about like what I've been up to, yeah. but then it quickly devolves into like, yo, did you see this meme? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think that the guys generally tend to lean towards wanting to share experiences as opposed to share uh, like- um, Sharing stories. Sharing stories or personal feelings on yeah. stuff, which yeah. is admittedly something that I think that more guys, you know, should incorporate. We sure. should talk more about our feelings and whatnot, but mm. I think often guys just default to let's do something together, mm. be it drinking, Doing sports, just because that's just how guys generally are. Totally, but it's it's also like I've, I've you know I've had some like deep talks with guys. Before, yeah, of course, yeah. And it's it's so weird because it's not like I I remember how meaningful the deep talk was mm -hmm. and you know some of the things I say, but me trying to describe it. So sometimes I have this like deep meaningful talk with some of my guy friends, and I'll tell Sydney, oh yeah, I talked about this thing, and she'll be like, oh, what did you guys say? <laughs> and like in the moment, I'm like, um, I can give you um, the gist of it. I can't he tell you. was sad, <laughs> and I said things that made him better. <laughs> <laughs> We just resort to like two IQ yeah. when, when it comes to like talking about like the actual details of shit. We just yeah. know like how it started and how it ended. God, when you when you went home from school, right? Did your yeah. parents ask ask you, oh, what'd you do today? School. Oh, all the time. And cool. I was just like, or like, how was school? Yeah, how was school? That was always what, the what question. What did you say? Did you ever have a- did, No, it was always, was, okay. Was there one yeah, was time like, in your yeah, life good. that you actually said something meaningful in the- yeah, I did something exciting at school. I did, we did this, we did I'm sure that. I did. I'm sure I did, but do I remember any of it? No. Cause sometimes I have like, a, I have a talk, you know, it continues now to this day when I phone my parents and they're like, oh, have you been doing anything interesting? What have you been up to? We haven't talked for a while. And I'm like, I've been good. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've filmed like some fucking insane videos on trash taste. <laughs> we've like toured all over America. And they asked me, oh, was there anything interesting in hap that happened in America? Yeah. I could not tell them a single fucking thing. <laughs> I, I was like, did I, well, but is it on camera? The more the more you have those experiences, the more yeah. you kind of start labeling them as ordinary. Yeah, and exactly. And your brain kind of starts forgetting them. So exactly. stuff that would seem, that would previously have been kind of like huge life events, kind of just become a drop in the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is like true. I was going to film something in Australia like that. I'm sure yeah. that at one point in my life would have been an insane memory. I oh, for forget. sure, yeah. for sure. And now it's just another one to add to the list, yeah. which is sad, but also cool that you get to have so many cool experiences. Yeah, I think yeah. like it, it kind of, it, it's this weird like cash 22 of like the more of those kinds of experiences you have, the less like each one of those maybe individual experiences mm. maybe don't get ingrained into your mind as often as it should. Yeah. But at the same time, the greater your overall experience becomes oh, with yeah. just like everything you've done. But right? the first few I still remember very vividly. Which ones? The first few big experiences of previous traveling or I remember very clearly. What was, yeah. it, what was your first one? Um, I mean, alone, because I used to always travel a lot with my parents, but the first real big experience I had was I went to Anime Expo when I was like, um, 18 or 19, right. 19, I must be, yeah, 19 or 20. No, no, I, I could drink, so I was 21. No, mm -hmm. I lied. I remember I was 20. <laughs> yeah, I lied. Yeah, I, I bullshitted a lot. Yeah. Which is a crime, federal crime. <laughs> um, but no, I, I I was 20 when I went to AX the first time. Right. And um, yeah, I remember that was like the really, like, I remember a lot of stuff very vividly because it was like my first time ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, Going to a foreign country alone, especially so far away. Mm. Cause I'd never been to, I didn't even been to America once at that point. It was like when I was like 12. So it didn't right. Be, and it was with your family, right? Yeah, uh, no, it was a school trip. Oh, school trip. Yeah. It was yeah, very but, different. Yeah, but like sometimes we can have like a 
big event and I remember the most random thing from yeah, that true, event. That's true. not the big thing. Like, you know, remember when we went to Hawaii and we did all that, you know, exciting things in Hawaii. I only remember riding the moped. <laughs> Do you know what I remember? I just, I, for some reason, the core memory from that trip yeah. is just watching Lord of the Rings with you boys in the, in the hotel room. Out of everything- Those are core memories. Out of everything that I did, that's I how was you just know, like- That's how you know that was quality boys time. I was like, out of everything we did, that was the one thing I remember. You cannot take away watching Lord of the Rings with the boys. That is a core memory. Lord of the Rings is a core memory in and of itself. Yeah. That was so, what a fucking great film. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was I've, that was a good night though. Oh, I hung up with a mate recently, and he just said the most like he just said a line mm. that just like I don't know, it just encapsulated the feeling where you know we we're having a fun time, we we're just vibing, and he was just like, "Oh man, this is fucking core memory shit right now." And I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck, you can't say that in the moment." <laughs> I don't like, know. You're like that's like you almost putting it on you. Yeah, that's re- putting yeah. pressure. You're like, this is not a canon. If you don't well, remember this, this I will be sad. No, no, no. As I don't know as, who you are. As soon as, no, no, no it's, it, it works. Because as soon as he said that, I, I think about that moment all of the well, time. That's like saying, because, like, that's like if I, we hung out and I said, God, I love you. It's like, sincerely, you would remember that. Cause you'd be like, why did he say that? Like, why? Well, I, I wanna go up to, I wanna, I wanna go up to a stranger on the street and just go, this is a real cool memory moment right now. See if they remember. No, I, I wanna use that line more in my vocabulary. Vocabulary now. If I'm just having a fucking great time, if I just say, "Oh man, this is fucking core memory," core memory shit. Dude, you can't say that. That's, that's putting the you're putting the onus on the other person no, to fuck, have a core memory. Fuck off! I wish I said that at my wedding day. Me in front of the altar with Sydney. I'm, I just this sta- is a core memory. I, I, I stand, during your during your speech. It's I like, stand out and say, "Thank you for coming too. to my wedding. This is a real core memory moment yeah. right now." I'm like, look Sydney in the eye. I'm like, Sydney, this is core memory shit right now, man. <laughs> It's so evil. <laughs> yeah. What is the earliest memories you guys have? We had. We spoke about this on Trash Taste. Have we? Yep. Yeah. I remember because I can. It was a cool I memory didn't... moment. You don't remember? <laughs> yeah. Wondering. I literally explained that I couldn't fucking remember anything from like before age twelve. The mine is yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've said this on po- on the podcast already. But mine was when I was five years old and I got lost in Osaka.